Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. Today I'm just gonna do a little intro video talking about what on earth I'm doing on the internet. What, what, what am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing. And then I'm just gonna do a little makeup tutorial. Just getting this everyday, very natural, pretty, glowy makeup look. So, um, yeah, let's just get right into it. So this is basically like my first like real, eh, no. My last video was real, it wasn't fake. It was pretty real. I don't know what I'm saying right now, just, okay. But my first video was a vlog. I didn't really introduce myself or anything. Not that many of you will like really care who I am because I'm not really, anyone at all. Uh, I just wanted to do a little introduction. So I'm Sydney and um, I'm really bad at this. Oh my god, why is my forehead the size of a fucking tri-state area? So I'm Sydney. I currently live in New Jersey, North Jersey area. Um, I'm originally from a small town in Pennsylvania. Basically, I got into YouTube. I've kind of always like been into YouTube since like way back when Yeah, basically I just work like a very average office job sitting at a desk all day So I like doing something a little on the side that will keep myself entertained and hopefully other people What is oh my god? Why is my neck red? And hopefully other people entertained as well. I tried starting a podcast with my friend from work and that kind of fell through just because we don't really live close to each other so we couldn't really like keep up with it. I started a makeup Instagram account. Eh, I'm working on it. But now I've turned to YouTube and I just wanna kinda like vlog my very boring, not exciting, life and also like i want to bounce back and forth between vlogging and doing makeup tutorials so i guess that's pretty much it i i, I think i think i have a lot of good ideas okay i act like i'm like in an interview trying to sell myself or something but can't really sell myself if you want to watch me watch me if you don't want to watch me then watch me anyway i hope you guys enjoy watching my videos as much as i enjoy filming them I've always kind of been into YouTube, watching YouTube videos. I even tried making a name for myself way back in the day. Here's just a little clip. Okay, so I had my whole video ready. It was published on YouTube and I got a nice copyright claim. So I can't post a little snip of the video that I wanted to show you guys, but Feel free to go find my old channel from middle school. Um, I'll put the link down below to my channel. I'm sure you'd get a kick out of it. Now on with the show. So yeah, I'm definitely excited um, that I finally just stepped out of my comfort zone and started a YouTube channel. I'm definitely fortunate enough to have such supportive parents who actually believe in me and actually think I'm funny and entertaining enough to actually go and do this. Yeah, so shout out to them who actually think I can get a view or two on all of my YouTube videos. You know who you are, fam. Just wanted to do a little intro because I'm sure everyone watching is like, who the fuck is that? Here I am, this is me. Um, a lot of my friends have been asking me to do their makeup. A lot of my friends have been asking me how I do my makeup. I'm not that great, like not my, but a lot of people do ask me to do their makeup every now and then. So I figured, well, why don't I show you? I guess here are all my secrets that aren't actually secrets. And don't get me wrong, like it took me so long to figure out how to do my makeup even like slightly well. Like high school, oh my God. Middle school, like, no. Even like the beginning of college, like I thought like extra dark eyeshadow, like dramatic was like the thing to do. And like, it just like wasn't blending. I didn't, I didn't know any techniques. I just thought I was looking good. Don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm no professional. I do what I have learned um, from other videos that I watch on YouTube. I just really enjoy doing it. Do I think I'm good at it? Yes. Do I think I'm the best? 
no 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 i definitely get my inspirations from other people i watch a million tutorials like all day long like i just it's just so soothing to me i love watching makeup tutorials so i figured i'd make one myself just a very basic everyday natural look so step one of the tutorial grab your jeffree star mirror sorry Make sure you get his mirror because it's so beautiful and if you don't have his mirror to do your makeup you already fail this tutorial because you're not gonna look like me and then you're not gonna look like him so what you doing no i'm totally kidding i'm literally totally kidding i'm just so extra and i just got his mirror because it's pretty i should probably stop talking now and actually get into the tutorial also keep in mind also keep in mind this is just how i do my makeup this is how i like it on me this isn't how everyone does their makeup it's what works for me the best so don't 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 think about saying anything like you're doing that wrong or your makeup sucks or whatever i don't care this is just how i do my makeup a lot of people ask me so here i am doing my makeup fuck off and don't tell me i'm doing things in the wrong order because i don't care about that either okay so first thing i like to go in with is is my ysl is my ysl primer touche eclat blur primer i don't know if i said that correctly it's more of like an oil base it has like gold shimmer in it it goes so nice on my face and like it doesn't actually make you feel oily i don't really know how to describe makeup i guess at all and then i just spread it out with um, my morphe m427 brush i don't know if you can see i really need to stop showing my forehead once this runs out i definitely think i'm gonna go get the full size it just goes on so nice and it makes my face feel so smooth and a little shimmery and i really fuck with that i know most people don't do this order usually they do a whole like moisturizer before and whatever I like the way I look with this makeup. So I use Bare Minerals um, Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. I'll just take the same brush that I used the primer on. Um, you definitely want to make sure to kind of like put it on your neck since it is a tinted uh, moisturizer. I do actually like wearing this when I don't feel like doing my makeup because it kind of looks like I have a foundation base on. After that, do foundation. So I'm gonna go in with my Born This Too Faced Born This Way um, foundation in the shade Warm Beige. I use the Jeffree Star sponge it, Morphe sponges. This is literally the softest sponge I swear I've ever used. So let's go on my sponge like that, squirt like about two pumps. I will go in with um, ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Light 18. This concealer is literally amazing. It's only $6. I love it. Probably the only concealer I, the only concealer I will use from now on. I'm just gonna go in with the concealer under my eyes, a little on my nose, bring it down. A little under my nose. I look like a rabbit with whiskers. Thumbnail. Then I'll go ahead and take the same sponge I was using and just kind of blend it all out with. Um, this sponge. Okay, why can't I speak? Ow! <laughs> After this, um, I 
like to go in on all my all the high points on my face with my Maybelline um, Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade Light. And I'll just kind of touch on where I just put um, that concealer on my face with Sephora 204 brush. So. And then from here, I'll just go ahead and take Morphe setting spray and just spray my face before I do the next few steps just so I have my uh, foundation and my concealer just kind of set before I before I do the rest. Okay, so next is um, the whole contour deal. So I'm gonna be doing my um, my bronzer, my blush, and my highlight. When do I usually do my eyebrows? Now. Wait. Fuck, I usually do them first. Okay, I'm gonna do my eyebrows now. Fuck that one up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take this Lock On Liner and Brow Cream um, made by e.l.f. in the shade Medium Brown. about being a girl is that everyone has one good brow and one not as good brow so rude okay now I'm gonna go ahead and do my other brow off camera because you don't need to see that and I will be back okay so next step is going now it's going to be bronzer I've been using Morphe's um, bronzer and contour in the shade Showmance. Show plus romance. Plus I use this, what's this brand called? You know, like Real Essentials or something like that, I forget. And, and the brush number is uh, that, okay. more just keep putting on more if you don't then you better stop otherwise you're gonna look dumb all right so after that I'm gonna do a little bit of my nose contour so I'll be going in using Princess Cut color um, with my Morphe M408 brush. So. My nose is huge. Like I <laughs> Sorry, I'm so dramatic, but not everyone likes everything about themselves, am I right? My nose is huge and my eyes are bulgy, so I literally hate my face profile. Like, I hate it. Um, so I like having a nice contoured nose so that maybe it'll kind of create the little illusion that I have a perfect nose, but really... It's huge, just like my forehead. Everything about my head is just fucking huge. Thanks, Dad, for giving me those jeans. Them big-ass head jeans. Okay. I just realized my mirror was in front of the camera the entire time. Um, if necessary, I'll just go into it with um, uh, a little brush I like to call a brush from Amazon um, and just kind of like blend it a little bit. Honestly, great brushes and they're cute. Marble. They cute. Oh, the next step is baking. Again, this is the order I do it in. Don't fucking yell at me if it's not the correct order, because is there any correct way to do makeup? No, as long as you enjoy what you're doing and you think it turns out good, then who cares? Okay, so I'm going to bake my face with, I like using smaller sponges, just so I can really get the areas that I want to.
after doing that side, I'm gonna go in and do the chin a little bit. And then depending on the day, um, I'll just go ahead and do a little under my eyes and up on my on the side of my nose to really get that defined uh, contour look on the nose. While my face bakes a little bit, um, I will do my blush and my highlighter. Right now I'm using the shade Epic. And so I'll go into that using my double-sided Sephora 204 brush, but I'll use the angled side of the brush. Okay. So... Oh my god, why do I keep burping? Okay, so after that, highlighter. So right now I, I actually got this out of my BoxyCharm box and it is from Pretty Vulgar. And it is the shade Shimmering Swan. I use the um, Morphe M532 brush. I'll take a little bit of my highlighter, tap it a little bit more, and then I actually spray it with my Morphe setting spray a little bit so that, <laughs> that it really gives you a nice glow and it actually stays on but I have learned that spraying setting spray on the highlighter before you put it on I think I'm fucking cake baby And then from there, um, I'm just going to wipe away any powder on my face that was baking. Oh my god. Oh, who is she? Hello. And then, if I'm feeling like I really want to glow which lately I have been fucking beautiful if you want a little extra sparkle so this is more of like a glow but if you actually like some sparkle this is my go-to so it's still a, a heavenly highlighting palette this is just a little fun thing that I do most people just like to dab a little sparkle in the corner of their eye I actually did this the other day where I did the whole eye and like I was just kind of like chilling like a little glowy sparkle on my eyes all day and like I really liked it so there's nothing you can do about it huh? okay but anyway you can see the sparkles you can I can I don't really care but yeah just dab a little sparkles I think that's a nice little touch that's just me and then the last step is mascara so obviously I have to use Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara because does any other mascara even exist? No. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other eye and then we'll be done. And there we have it. So this is just a very basic, everyday look that you can wear. Um, wait, I'm not fucking done, you idiots. Lip gloss time! Um, my favorite so far has been this, well not so far, but right now, has been literally this $4 like tube from Nordstrom Rack. Infused with real flowers. Real flowers. Clear, it's not... I forgot to take all the fucking shit off my mouth. Mad foundation and whatnot on it. It's probably so red because I just irritated the fuck out of them trying to get that makeup off. Also, really like, honestly, this Butter Gloss by NYX. And the shade Madeline. Okay, so this is the final look. Feel free to check back next week. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing a vlog or another makeup tutorial. Subscribe comment give it a thumbs up i had fun making this video so i hope you learned a few things and maybe i'll catch you in the next one thanks for watching
I almost forgot. Obviously, we have to end it with the MAC Fix Plus Gold Light setting spray. Just a few sprays. And now you good to go.